Black Trump Supporters. Today is August 13th, Tuesday. Thank you for starting your day with World Radio. Good morning. I'm Nick Eicher. Paul Butler, host, my name is Paul Butler. Ethnic minorities in the 2024 election are next on the world and everything in it. A recent New York Times slash Siena poll found that former President Donald Trump had nearly increased his popularity among black voters since 2020, even though 80% are Democrats. Iker, World's Lindsay Mast asked Atlanta black voters why they favor the former president. A queue of people snaked through the streets and parking lots outside the Georgia State University Convocation Center before the Trump rally in downtown Atlanta earlier this month. A beautiful 90-degree August day. Doors closed an hour and a half before the start time. Nobody else entered. A jumbotron broadcasting the arena's events drew people to the sidewalks. Rally police sound. A woman in heels and a miniskirt wore a phony ankle monitor, referencing Trump's legal issues. One group wore Latino Catholics for Trump shirts. A white Chevy Suburban repeatedly passed. Chalk paint on windows red honk if you're MAGA. An ad on a mobile billboard truck displaying Trump's racist comments was also going around. The Hill reports that the DNC launched that ad during this rally. Atlanta is 36% black and home to Martin Luther King Jr. National Historical Park and several historically black schools and universities. Audio from the ad. I dislike black folks calculating my money. I only want short guys wearing yarmulkes every day to count my money since blacks are lazy. Racist, xenophobic, religious zealot. Why should black voters trust you after that language? Screen printed final words? You shouldn't. How does that message affect black Trump supporters? I questioned some of his supporters why they were there that day. Gregory Samuel, everyone's here for the same cause. Man, everyone wants change. Gregory Samuel brought his wife and two little children. They arrived too late to enter. Samuel's wife said they let him sleep this morning after he worked until midnight. All family members wore new Trump caps. They fear the future. Samuel, as inflation makes it hard to afford groceries, gas costs are out of control. Everything is wild right now, and it's worrisome for our kids, with schools transgender, male, female agendas and how they convey that to youngsters. I felt it would be great to help these men who believe in the authentic American family and way. Samuel was a Democrat until Trump's first term. Samuel, who wants another politician? Nobody, you know. Since this country is a business, I want a businessman. His programs, like the child tax credit, showed you his abilities. Restored families' homes with a handsome sum to help us over the brink. TikTok and Airbnb let 30-year-old entrepreneur Kian Young make money. He distrusts Democrats. I believe the Democrats have misled our nation. I think they sold America to foreign countries and we need to make it American again. Mast, was that always your feeling? Did anything change for you? Young, actually, I've always felt that way. I think Democrats exploit black voters. They mistakenly believe it's an easy vote. Mast, your thoughts on the signs? Did you see the electric vehicle declaring Donald Trump is racist? Georgia voters know. Young, I think. Often, people are misinterpreted. They have a misperception about Republicans because their parents are Democrats and taught them that they are racists. Many folks seem stuck on that. Nicole, who wouldn't offer her last name, said she's Christian. She claimed her political beliefs changed because her faith didn't always match Obama's ideas. She will vote for Trump three times. Nicole, should we look at someone and say, you know what? I won't vote for you since you're not my shade. We've all lived during his presidency, and my family and I were much better financially. Not so, we traveled, explored, and enjoyed life more. I didn't look back and say, wait, hold on, hang on, maybe my coupons are helping. What do you reply when people suggest Trump's character is flawed and disqualifies him? Nicole, why do I adore that question? Because we all are. That's why we need salvation. We're lucky to breathe fresh air and see the sun every day. 
we can say, Father, I erred yesterday. I said, I did. My attitude was awful. Forgive me, Father. This is a chance to reconsider. People I spoke to are tired of race being a role in the election. They want people will check candidates' records. They believe another Trump presidency will give them a good future. Everyone desires a better life. Everyone wants another great four years like we did. Everyone wants success. Everyone wants to feed their families.